Hey everybody, Robert Wright here. I'm a private label attorney who helps Amazon sellers protect their brand on Amazon. And today I want to talk about one of the, believe it or not, is one of the more frequent questions I get asked. What do you do when someone steals your product photos? Specifically, what do you do when your supplier steals your product photos? And it's, it's interesting. I've actually had this happen to me, right? So you spend all this time, money, and effort getting product photos in place, right? They're beautiful, great white background shots. You put them on your Amazon listing and guess what? All of a sudden, everybody, all those suppliers over on Alibaba, they look and they see that your product's selling really well and they want to tell everybody that they can you know, make a product that's very similar, right? So they just copy and swipe, <clears throat> put their product photos up on the Alibaba site and there you go. All of a sudden, your product is sitting over on Alibaba. Same thing happens with eBay, right? It's a little bit of a different flavor, but you know, you've got a great selling product. Some eBay sellers decide, you know what? I'm gonna sell that product too. And they copy and swipe your product photos. Maybe they even copy and swipe your product listing itself and put it up on eBay. So all of a sudden you've taken all this money, you've invested in these great product photos and someone's stolen them. So what do you do? Well, here's where copyright law comes to help you, right? So copyright law, remember, protects original works of authorship. And that means things like product photos. That means things like sales copy, you know, those sorts of things that are the guts of your Amazon listing. And with respect to copyright law, there's something called the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which provides a very formal process by which you can go to an Alibaba, you can go to an eBay, frankly, you can even go to an Amazon, you know, a platform like that, file what's called a DMCA takedown notice, right? That, that platform, your Amazon, your Alibaba, your eBay, is gonna immediately take action on that and then remove the, the listing or the allegedly infringing content, okay? So, you know, when you, if you have a supplier, if you find your product photos on Alibaba, Alibaba actually has a very uh, easy process to kind of walk through. You know, go to alibaba.com, you know, if you scroll down to the bottom of the, of the page, they actually have a report infringement process that you can, you can walk through. You know, certainly you can involve a lawyer and that's helpful, but you know, it's easy enough to do on your own as well. Very similar to eBay, right? eBay has kind of a report infringement process all, all its own, you know, and, and there's a little bit of nuance between each, but the big learning point for everybody is if you see someone who's stolen your product photos, do something about it, right? Those, those photos are super valuable. You put a lot of money into to making sure that they came out great. Don't let somebody, you know, free ride on your own efforts, right? You just never want to do that in business. It's a bad business idea, right? Um, now, one word of caution, remember, copyright vests with the author. And if you hired out, you know, someone to take those product photos, make sure you have the appropriate agreement in place to give you, to make yourself the author as opposed to just, you know, the recipient of the JPEGs the PDFs, the AI files, and the copyright remaining with the, the person who took the, photo, the photographs in the first place. So hope that's helpful to you. If someone swipes your photos, now you at least know what to do. There's a report infringement process, both on Alibaba and eBay uh, and any other site, frankly, Etsy. I uh, did an Etsy takedown the other day. They all have mechanisms by which you can formally complain. And if you have your I's dotted and your T's crossed with respect to your copyrights, Getting, a, getting your content removed from those sites should be easy enough.